Hey, what's going on folks? I'm automatic. So a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't you do a video? Why don't you write a document, a book perhaps, of how you do research, training mode, those kinds of things. And you know, I think I might be able to do that in small doses, like a little bit at a time for a video. And since Dragon Ball Fighters just came out, by the way, amazing so far, I have no complaints. It's a great game so far. Uh, I thought I'd just go back, you know, start with this game and how I'm approaching it and give tips in the meantime um, until I really have like a solid foundation in uh, maybe teaching this game, that kind of thing. So training mode, uh, a fighting game I think in training mode should have a record function. So what you want to do to take advantage of this, if there's something that's giving you issues in a match, uh, use that character to record it and then have them blocking at certain points and then use that to determine what you can do about it. So Beerus is auto combo. This move where he goes behind you, he gets two attacks, third one he goes behind you. And it lets us like really cheap at first, so you have to look at this by itself and isolate it and see what you can really do about it. So at first you're gonna see it, and you might block those two hits, and then you don't even know he's gonna go behind you at that point. But you gotta figure out what that happens, what 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 you can do about what you can do about it when that happens first before you can move on to like when he calls an assist, what are his options that branch off of it. So then we gotta look at this 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 move in isolation. So what you wanna do, record it. So you see how I go from standby, now I'm picking the other beers, and then I hit the record button again, and then I just do the move, and then I immediately block. I hold block for you know a decent amount of time, and now I have that move. Then I then I play that move, and I defend against it, I see what how it really works. So I do, in fact, have to block the other way when he does that, but let's see if there's anything I can do besides that. So is there a space between any of this? Absolutely! So that's no good for him to do that on its own. If he actually does the move, I have a method of punishing him. So now I can determine if they're, like, how big is that window? Because I'm using a light attack. Light attacks tend to be faster than medium and heavier attacks. So if I'm able to use a heavier attack, that gives me an even better idea of how much time is between that those two moves the uh, second hit and the third hit which goes behind me so what happens if I use my medium attack if I block and then use my medium attack I'm blocking and there's my medium attack that counter hits him so that means there's an even bigger window so let's try a heavy attack and if the heavy attack does or doesn't work that tells me that it's this is pretty much the most information that I might need uh, maybe maybe like a super dash so super dash I am assuming takes longer than any other of my, my normals on the ground so that means it's not, the window is less than the startup of my super dash, maybe. It's safe to assume that much. So now I've evaluated uh, just how much of a window of time is in between this move. So now I want to look at, as Beerus, what are my options? What actually happens before this? So if I only do these two attacks, where does that leave him? What options does he have? And is there something that answers my answer to that option? So if I do something like light, light, and then heavy, how how is that gonna how is that gonna affect the situation? So now I want to record that part. So I'm gonna have Beerus do light light heavy. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna block it. I'm gonna take a look at it and see what you know. Just observe and then make some make some educated guesses if there's any answers. And I'm gonna try the same answer for the cross up in this situation and see what happens. Actually, I cannot do anything in between us. So according to this. I can assume that I can always, uh, until otherwise proven incorrect, I, I can assume that I can always hit a light attack in between us because I'm stuck in block stun, at least looking at these two scenarios in a vacuum. But I can tell you my prediction. Um, if I delay that standing H, that will counter hit me. I'm, I'm guessing that'll work right now. This is a true, uh, how do you say, live lab work making the YouTube videos. Okay. So that didn't combo, but I think that'll counter hit my standing jab. Uh, hit this button. Did I not report it? Okay. Take two! Didn't combo, but we're gonna see what happens. I got counter hit for matching my... my uh, actually, that was a, I did an S. Let's try it one more time. That was my standing L. So I got counter hit doing that. So that means that there is some risk. My assumption from before was incorrect that I could always mash my a fast attack in between it. So I need to find a better solution. But this whole process has taught me so much about the opposing character, and in my case, I'm, I'm playing Beerus. So now I, hold a low, I, know, I know a lot more 
about what my opponent's answers are so I can continue this, this cycle of preparing answers ahead of time. And you're always going to be ahead of the cur curve, at least mentally, as far as knowledge. You're going to have more information than your opponent will if you're doing this style of research. And I'm telling you, it, it takes like 5-10 minutes. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to skyrocket your success in games if you apply what you learn. But just learning, you got to learn how to learn in fighting games. It's one of the flaws I see for a lot of people. But that is it for now. I hope you did learn something. Dragon Ball Fighters is awesome so far. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm automatic. And I look like Rocky Balboa's trainer.